So I had a couple of you guys ask, Austin, where is Peaky Blinders on your top 10 TV shows of all time video? Because I had previously stated I've watched a few seasons, but I was behind, I had to catch up, and in anticipation of this dropping on Netflix today, I was able to do that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely up there. What is up, Flick fans, and welcome back to my channel. Today, Peaky Blinders Season 5 just dropped on Netflix. I was able to binge through it this morning. I was very much looking forward to it, like I said. The last couple of weeks, I went back, I watched Season 3, Season 4, right into Season 5, man. What an incredible binge that was. Today, we're going to talk about it. Non-spoiler, of course, and I need you guys in the comments. Which season is your favorite Thus far, I'd love to know that. Let's talk about it. So the first episode of Season 5 takes place in the wake of the Wall Street crash where Tommy faces new dangers from unexpected quarters. <laughs> so this season has everything that you want. It has tension. It has intensity. It has family drama. It has uh, treachery. I mean, you can say that about pretty much every season of Peaky Blinders, but it feels like... um. Things are escalated to a whole new level in Season 5. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say this is the best season. Which is the best season? I'll probably make a separate video on that. But I am saying that Season 5, if you're worried about it not measuring up... Listen, if you're watching this video, you've most likely seen all of the other... Or most of the other seasons of Peaky Blinders. If you're worried that it, you know, drops off or is not as good in the later on seasons, just don't worry about that. Season 5 is just as good as the first four seasons, but it felt like they were going in a slightly new direction this season, and that has me really excited for what is to come, because clearly, we are going to get more, at least we better, after the cliffhanger that they leave us with at the end of season five. Once again, no spoilers, but oh my goodness. Let's talk about the performances, and this video is going to be a lot of me just kind of praising this show, and I hate to be that guy that doesn't bring a lot of negatives to the table, but how could you with a show like Peaky Blinders? I am not the world's biggest period piece fan. I like a good gangster movie. I like a good gangster TV show. But normally, they don't have this stylistic nature, this sensibility, this way of going about things that you just don't see on television. And I've said this for so long. The mixture of tone and, and the way that they integrate music into this show is incredible because even at the most intense and treacherous and just ominous moments, they can bring in a song or bring in something that slightly changes the tone but doesn't quite get you out of that groove that you're in. That just makes this show unlike anything else on television. And catching up over the last few weeks has really put this show, it's shown a new light on something that I should have been caught up on, I should have had at my top 10 TV shows of all time video. Peaky Blinders is incredible. Where does this all start? Well, of course it starts with the creator, Stephen Knight. Then you go into the directing and how flawless everything is executed. I already talked about the score, but the cinematography, some of the best on television. It is really what makes this season stand out from every other season of TV I've seen this year. It's just um, the technical nature of the show. Everything is sewed together seamlessly, and it's a rare thing when you talk about editing in a TV show, right? We always point it out when it is a clear issue, but we never really talk about how well done the editing is, right? In Peaky Blinders, I think every scene is transitioned together in such a way that, um, once again, makes it stand out from the rest of the crowded market. And then you move on to the cast. Of course, Killian Murphy playing Thomas Shelby. He just gets better and better every single season. He comes into this character more and more. And my goodness, his quirks, his antics, what he has done throughout the last couple of seasons. But who he is turning into and the internal conflict coming to the realization of who he is, who he is becoming. Absolutely one of the best character studies I have seen all year because we've had four seasons to grow with this guy. And now he is facing uh, pretty much the biggest conflict, not biggest in scale, but biggest right here. Mentally, the guy is just consistently uh, trying to outdo himself, and because of that, the mental games that he is facing this season just stretch far beyond what you anticipate going in. Some other standouts, Anya Taylor-Joy, who is one of my favorite actresses right now, I love her, and every time I see her pop up in this show, I'm like, yes, that is awesome, and just the talent in general from Sam Claflin to Packy Lee to Kate Phillips and Aiden Gillen, Game of Thrones, Peaky Blinders, one of my favorite movies of all time, Sing Street, 
What a career. What a quiet career this guy is having because he's not a marquee name. I said Aiden Gillen. You're probably like, well, who's that? Listen, the guy is slowly turning into one of the best character actors maybe I've ever seen. Like He is so good in every single role. He's slimy when he needs to be, but in this show, you can feel his emotion. There are particular scenes with his character, and I just look at his emotion that he is showcasing, and I'm like, yeah, this guy, um, he deserves to be nominated for awards with the rest of them. But Peaky Blinders is a show that is just so good from an acting and a technical standpoint. Now, this season's story, we are facing a lot of different things. Things. Like I said, there's been a struggle of power within this family, and a lot of it has to do with the world kind of changing around them, wanting to transition into America, and just um, spread out what they've been doing for the last few seasons, but broaden their horizons. Some want to do that, some do not want to do that. Tommy is not necessarily the man, the leader that he once was. Now, I'm not talking about his character, just kind of the way that he goes about things. He's running this family a bit differently than he once was, but he has to because um, the world is really changing around all of them, and you see a few emotional breakdowns throughout the series of just members kind of struggling with where they are going, and um, I found that to be extremely and ridiculously powerful. Get the uh, entrance of a brand new squad coming into town, the Billy Boys, and man, did they make themselves known when they entered the episode that I'm thinking of. And you guys will know, you will see, and you will witness the um, kind of the revolution of the Billy Boys. And it was just awesome, man. The filmmaking in that scene and the emotion showcased by certain characters. Don't really want to get into uh, what happens, but let me tell you, if you are anticipating some uh, things to happen that you're not expecting in this season, whether it's Hanging someone from a cross, or the brutal ending to episode 3, the end of episode 4 that had my hand over my mouth just like, whoa, did they really just do that? And really what they're dealing with, like I said, the struggle for power, the new kids on the block, someone coming in and kind of making themselves known in the political world that they are not necessarily the biggest fan of. Oh, and like I mentioned in the summary, the freaking stock market crashes, so that messes everything up, and they have to figure out a new way to go about business. And this is why some people are coming in wanting to expand, wanting to do things a bit differently. And Austin, there's too many politics in this show. I just can't get through it. Listen, I, I don't look at this show as something that is heavy-handed in politics. I just, I find it timely, I find it brilliantly executed, I find it something that is going down the middle and, and appealing to both sides, and really, um, it's just a show about a family, man. Now, I will say this, I loved the final episode. I was getting a bit worried as we were going, because I looked, and there were, there were 20 minutes left, and I'm sitting back going, there's a lot of stuff that still needs to happen. Are we going to get a cliffhanger this big to where it doesn't really answer any of the questions that I have? No, they do address kind of a, the moment that they're pushing toward because they have this plan. They have to execute this plan. And I'm sitting there in anticipation going, is everything going to go the way it's supposed to go? I feel like everything is not going to go that way, but we just have to see. There is a cliffhanger, but I did get the questions answered. And uh, the way that they leave off this season is just brilliant because it really is. It's the struggle that Thomas is dealing with throughout the entire season. Once again, he is the lead. He's the main character. But there were so many bright spots about the rest of the cast. Guys, I loved this season of Peaky Blinders. I know I didn't get too far into specifics, but I don't want to ruin this because it just came out on Netflix today, and I know a lot of people have seen it, but as far as me having access to it, just came out today. I binge-watched all the way through it, and uh, gonna go, I'm going to go 95% for Peaky Blinders Season 5. Brilliant show, one of the best seasons of television I have seen all year, and I absolutely love just the style and the nature of how this show goes about telling its story. It's unlike anything else on television. So if you haven't seen Peaky Blinders, go watch it right now. If you have seen season five, let me know. Did it live up to your expectations? And uh, is this show as good as I say it is? Because I freaking love almost everything about it. And the stars that pop up left and right, you're like, oh, yeah, they got the cast, especially Killian Murphy, who is, after seeing this, one of my favorite actors in Hollywood. He already was, but this just makes it significantly better, and I'm so glad I caught up on this show. Thank you guys so much once again for watching. Thank you for supporting me. If you enjoyed this video, you want to see more Netflix reviews, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys very soon.